Our next bout is a light heavyweight contest over six rounds. Samuel Ajay, a.k.a. the Land Guard, comes up against Okasha Tamimu. Officials for this one, judges, Richard Gatti, Daniel Ablometi, Nikwe Koti. Referee David Nettie would be at the center. Officials once again, judges Richard Gatti, Daniel Ablometi, Nikwe Koti. Referee is David Nettie. There's one is a light heavyweight contest. Samuel Ajay, a.k.a. Landguard, comes up against Okasha Tamimu. <laughs> Who fights out of the blue corner? Please welcome Okasha Tamimu. And inviting into the ring is a boxer who fires out of the red corner, nicknamed Land Guard, Samuel J. Daniela Blometi, Nathaniel Nikwe Koti. Officials are ready. And now the box says this one is a light heavyweight contest. First, introducing the boxer who fights out of the blue corner. He trains out of the seconds out boxing gym. He's clad tonight in blue and white shorts with black boots to match. Weighing in at 173 pounds, fighting record. Four fights, no wins, four losses. He's a man known as Okasha Tamimu. And across the ring, his adversary fighting out of the red corner and training out of the Choco Champions Boxing Gym. He's clad tonight in white and black outfit with red boots to match. He is the boxer who weighed in at 174 pounds. He is the boxer who is making his debut tonight. His first time as a professional boxer. He's a boxer nicknamed Land Guard. Please, please welcome the man, Samuel 
AJ. At the center, referee, David Nettie. You know the rules already. Protect yourself at all times and obey my command. Touch gloves. Good luck. and gentlemen welcome to this our third fight our third fight of tonight's show here the LG Moore in Kumasi the showdown in Kumasi presented by Ossibo Promotions and we have our third fight currently underway the man Ajay versus Tamimu Tonight's show is, is a very, you know, spectacular one. The second time a boxing extravagance of this magnitude has come to this Ashanti region. In the past three months, Osibo promotions were here. Just over two months ago, and they enjoy the show so much and they have returned again with a second fight show here in Kumasi. So this is our third fight of tonight's show. A show stacked with a lot of fights. It's headlined by the UBO that's the Universal Boxing Organization Africa featherweight title fight by featuring the man Stanley Yantechi, the Ghana featherweight champion, the reigning Ghana featherweight champion, who wants to add the continental crown to his collection at the beginning of a career. His promoters, his managers believe will end in world title glory. But long before Nyantechi and Nete take to the stage, we currently have these two boxers battling it out in a light heavyweight. It's a second, a second light heavyweight contest of the night. Samuel Ajay versus Okaishi Tamimu. A very powerful shot there. It's Ajay versus Tamimu. It's still round one. And there goes the bell for the end of round. So it's somewhere Ajay in the red corner against. Round two here. And it's Samuel Ajay, the man in the white. 
against Tamimu in the blue. Ajay tries to corner his man in this light heavyweight contest, round number two. Ajay, you know, inflicted some punishment on Tamimu in that round number one, and his fans are calling on him to continue in the same vein and finish off his opponent. And we saw him going with some powerful punch there, but Tamimu got out of the way. Ajay goes to the body once again, but Tamimu, you know, with the footwork, the skills there, showing that he's ready, he's on ruffled at all. He's here to do it all. And, but Ajay will not stop attacking. He appears to have some powerful, you know, punches. Whenever he delivers them, they could knock out an opponent. So the action continues in round two. Scheduled for eight. It's a light heavyweight fight. In fact, scheduled for six, sorry. Ajay with the left jab there. Tamimu, you know, being chased all over the ring and he's doing his best to also fight back, the man in the blue. The action continues. And look at the, you know, ring skills, ring manship, the games. Tamimu appears to be playing with Ajay. Tamimu, he is, oh, he has a very good left jab there that he landed on Ajay. And he's Tamimu with another right jab. That had got his fans, you know, screaming in delight here in Kumasi. But Ajay remains focused. He goes with a left jab. He goes are going to the body. No, the punch wouldn't land. And uh, Tamimu tries to give him a fight, but Tamimu was caught there. And he has a problem. He takes a knee. Appears he was hit in the mouth there. And the referee is giving him a count. He took the knee, remember? After the count, he appears to be ready. And the bell saves Tamimu at this point in time. We continue with the show here at the SG Mall. Near the Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology here in Kumasi. Somewhere Ajay, the man in the white, has been dominating the first two rounds so far. And this is round number three. He's the man on the offensive once again. There he goes with the left, the by the right will not follow up. Tamimu managed to get out of the way. It's still Ajay on the offense.
Tamimu appears to have the biggest, you know, fan base here in this particular encounter. But Ajay remains focused on the job at hand. How he's going to take out his opponent is the only mission on the mind of Samuel Ajay. Tamimu in this round three has here to land a punch bar. He goes with a good left jab there, only that he will not get his opponent. He is just throwing punches into the air. And as Ajay gets closer to release some of his terrific punches, you know, my man, our man, Tamimu holds on for dear life. Tamimu in the blue against Ajay in the white. Is fight number three of tonight's show. The show they have called the showdown in Kumasi. And we are really witnessing some, you know, terrific shows here so far in this, our third fight so far today. It's Friday night, the fifth day of July, 2024. We have done with, we are into the second half of the year, that is. And Samuel J goes on the attack once again, but Tamimu, you know, finds a way to stop him as usual. The fight continues, round three. Not much punches thrown or landed in this particular round here. But Ajay still chases his man around the ring. He lands some few punches to the body there as the round comes to a close here. Samuel Ajay versus Tamimu, round number four. The show continues. And uh, a powerful right shot there from Samuel Ajay. He goes again. Ajay is, has arrived here in round number four with some venom. He appears determined to Really finish off his opponent here. Tamimu clinches for the air life by our referee, Kote Nikwe. Nikwe Kote. Gets in between and gets them to start fighting once again. And. It's Ajay still chasing, and you can hear the power of the punch as it rattled the body of Tamimu, but he appears unfazed at all. Ajay goes again. Tamimu is using some fine ducking skills there. Ajay with the left jab. He goes to the body. He another left. Right. It's all Samuel Ajay. All Tamimu is doing is survive. The man in the blue. 
against doing the chasing. Tamimu trying some one, two jabs, but there appears to be no power in any of them. You can see there. And uh, he complains of a low blow. But the show continues. Remember this round, number four of six. Light heavyweight contest. Showdown in Kumasi. Presented by Ossibo Boxing Promotions. We have a full house of fighters, ring officials, Ghana Boxing Authority officials that have come all the way from Accra for this night's show. And uh, Tamibu, he is frustrating. Ajay, and he's enjoying it. <laughs> now rise up for round number five. He is rooted on in his corner and apparently has indicated to our referee that he cannot continue with the fight here. So, and you can see his hand being attended to. He appears to have hurt his hand. And our ringside doctor. Our ringside doctor attending to Tamimu, who appears to have dislocated the, the shoulder. All right, shall we give them a huge round of applause? And the end comes in round number five by a technical knockout in round number five. A winner winning his debut fight, the man known as Landguard. Please welcome.